Okay, so I've managed to get DOSBox working on my Raspberry Pi 4, uh, to my surprise, and uh, a lot of the games have been working all right. There's a little bit to the setup of it, but it's not too bad at all. Uh, you don't have to change any, uh, any files or anything. Um, so this article kind of uh, tells you all how to do it, and it tells you what to type in. It even has all the commands and everything. Um, and, uh, and I found it very useful. The only thing I had an issue with, uh, or one of the things I had an issue with, is that I didn't have a tilde uh, on my keyboard, although I've got a tilde on there, it wasn't actually working. Uh, so what I've done is I've downloaded this uh, extra keyboard, this on-screen keyboard, and if I hit shift, there you go, it, there's the tilde there. And you need it for this particular bit. That took me a while to set up. Uh, so. I looked for some DOS ROMs, some old PC game DOS ROMs, uh, and this Abandonia site uh, has got loads and loads of them. Um, so all you do is look through, see what you want, and click on it. Some of them are free, some of them you have to pay to download. Actually, there was a table tennis game that I'd quite like to try on this. Uh, let's try. I just thought of that. I was trying to think of, oh, okay, is there any tennis? Maybe tennis might be all right. That'd be a tennis, International Tennis Open Tennis Cup. That's got the highest rating. So you download it, uh, find the file, hit get. I've already made a little donation. Uh, you don't have to, but obviously you can if you want. Not to me, to this website. So that's now, should be downloading, is it not yet? Now it's downloading, you can see it's there. It's obviously tiny files because they're, they're these old DOS files. So then what you want to do is have a look for where it is. Uh, so in my case, it will go to the downloads folder, uh, which is here. Then what you need to do is to unzip it. Uh, so where is it? Tennis, international tennis. So you can see it comes up here. What I do is control A to select all of it and then hit extract, which I think is this one. So that then extracts, and it, you can tell it where you want it to go. I generally put it in the temp file, um, so and that's probably already done. So then when you go to the temp file, it's here, uh, and you can see there's a folder called tennis. This is good. What I tend to do is make these as short as possible. Some of them come up with loads of information. So we're going to cut that, and we're going to go to pi, and then you can see I've got a folder in there called DOSBox, and I'll just paste it there. So there's tennis. Now when you do this, you're going to look for an .exe file. Now I'll show you, this doesn't always work uh, first time, in fact, second and third time sometimes it doesn't work either. Right, I can get rid of this zip. Uh, obviously this 4 gig of RAM is helping having all these windows and things open at once. But you can see here the command is, uh, and it's the same in the article, mount C space tilde forward slash, uh, and then the name of the folder that you've got your games in, in my case DOSBox, uh, forward slash, and then the folder that it's in. So mine, this in the case of this, it's Sensible World of Soccer 2. I've changed the name to a short name, so it's, uh, it's not Sensible World of Soccer 2, it's International or something like that. Uh, so then what we want to do is uh, look for, so if we go in the folder, you're looking for the .exe file. Now, I've just done this, and I know it's sws. See, it says sws.exe. So that's what we want, sws.exe. Oh, but what I keep doing is I haven't clicked on the DOS box, right? SWS, I don't need the EXE, just SWS, hit return, and you can see that it's starting to load. Now I've tried this with uh, a controller. There is definitely configuration for a controller, but I've not managed to get it properly working. My Xbox 360 controller, I was setting it up with uh, something earlier on, I think it was Outrun, something like that, uh, and it and it didn't it wouldn't center so basically it was it was throwing the menus all over the place so so I've, I'll stick to keyboard which isn't ideal for sensible soccer uh, I would definitely like to play it with a controller uh, so let's just go into a friendly uh, it's just curses and space so it's not not the best keys uh, and I couldn't see a way to to change that so let's go pick two teams Hit play friendly, okay. 
and it runs really smooth, runs nice and fast. No sound though, and there probably is a way, there's loads of uh, EXE files for setting up sound. It's pro I'm sure it's possible, um, but I'm not so worried. Oh, oh that's terrible. But this, this is just a great game, uh, especially as a multi, we used to do multiplayer tournaments on it, where loads of people play together. Oh, oh. But it's so hard with cursor keys. And I, could, I just couldn't see a way of redefining them. So press and hold does the high kick or hard kick. Oh, why can't I throw it in? Okay. Oh. And you can do curve on this, which was always the cool thing about it, which my opponent just did, the computer just did. Anyway, that's Sensible World of Soccer. Um, I'll basically show you other games that are on there. Um, so the keyboard was called, I think it was called something like Magic Keyboard, but you can find it on uh, the Add Remove. Let's just have loads of things on the screen at once. Uh, so, not there. I keep doing that. I keep going up to the folder for the Add Remove. So go to Preferences, go to Add Remove Software, go to, uh, at the top here, uh, so if you type in, I'm sure it was called Magic Keyboard. And I don't think it was pre-installed. So as I flick down, because it's already installed, it should be something that's already... Console font and key map. No, that's not it. On-screen keyboard. Matchbox keyboard. So you can see it's installed there. So if you want to find that, do a search for Matchbox keyboard. Uh, but you probably won't need it. Um, it's just for some reason my keyboard and my Bluetooth keyboard wouldn't give me a tilde key and I tried changing the region and all sorts of things. Couldn't get it to work. Uh, and in the end, it's no heartache to have this keyboard on there and just minimise it when you don't need it. And the DOSBox program, how I installed that, again, that was just on here. Uh, so if you just type in DOSBox, and if you want to know a bit more about this installing system, I, I've, I did a previous video on playing Linux games uh, on on the Raspberry Pi 4. There you go. And these are the two files that you need, or these are the two files that I've downloaded. You might not need both of them, um, but that's how I'm running DOSBox, and then it just launches from the top here, Games, DOSBox, and then it's just following the tutorial article, and then you just, after a while, you just get used to what you have to type. Um, so if I, say I quit out of Sensible Soccer now, uh, let's show you just one more game how because it as I say it just doesn't it doesn't always work so if I go to games and I go to DOS box uh, was there something else I well, let's have a look on here so this is my method right so I what I tend to do is go to the go to the folder that it's in so in my case this is a folder called DOS box uh, and it's home pi DOS box that's where it's located uh, so if I want to play a game uh, I have to start off by going, so mount, space, C, space, use my magic keyboard, matchbox keyboard, uh, tilde, forward slash, DOSBox, again, because I named my folder DOSBox, yours might be named something else, forward slash, and let's try micro machines, and I might make that shorter. Yeah, so it doesn't exist. Home Pie, DOSBox, Mic. This is what I get. So if you get this initially, don't be disheartened by it. Uh, you might need to restart DOSBox. You might need to restart the Pi, uh, and you'll find often that it will come back up. Uh, let's and if you press the up arrow, that brings back. So if you made a typo or anything like that, let's. What I found before. Uh, let's just call it that. M match. Oh, I just pressed the wrong button. Uh, and then go back, M, M, A, C, H. Yeah, so now it's mounted. I, I, maybe it's if you do something in the folder structure, maybe it, it sees it. So we might be able to play Micro Machines now. So then you go C colon, return. Uh, and now we're looking for the EXE file that is in Micro Machines. Uh, and so it will probably be... There you go, micro.exe, I reckon it's probably that. So you just put in micro. Oh, I keep doing this. Click on, click back on here uh, on the DOS window. 
tap in micro, and then it loads up super, super quick. Oh, I keep getting some of this. Um, even though it's from that abandon, Abandonia uh, website, it's still... So what I've done... It's in German as well, isn't it? Drucker. Yeah, it often just lets you play it anyway. Oh, so I've got I've got joystick on this. So let's try and see if that. So center, press fire left, press fire right, press fire. How do I how do I get out of joystick two? I haven't got a joystick two. <laughs> let's do it on the mouse. No, it won't do that. So let's just press a button on there, a button on there, and a button on there. Is that going to do it? Right, hopefully that will work. So uh, F1 player control, joystick one, F2, leave it on keys, use escape to quit game, return to play game. We have sound as well. Oh, and I'm skipping, albeit a bit slow, one player. Depends how responsive it is with this joypad. Nice bit of reverse at the start. Yeah, it works fine. So I'm, I'm using an Xbox 360 wired controller. I haven't properly configured. I did go into the DOSBox menus. Uh, and I did a basic configuration, but it doesn't seem to work for any other games. Uh, but yeah, that works fine, doesn't it? Oh, happy with that. So, that's Micro Machines. Uh, I'll basically show you all the other games that I've got working. Uh, but thanks very much for watching. Please like and subscribe.
30, 30 love, love. 